Hi guys, welcome back to your host Craig, and today we're doing some Sudden Strike. That's right, our first mission of the day is actually doing the Allied Invasion of Normandy, which is Operation Overlord, or D-Day, commonly known, anyway. So, anyway, let's see. This was the successful Allied Invasion of German-occupied Western Europe during World War II, so it's going to be very exciting, it's always fun to see. And this is a straight-up RTS based in World War II, which is fantastic, which console has been lacking in the RTS department. I'm kind of glad Sudden Strikes come to console, because they've actually mapped out the controls very well for this, this console edition, which I'm quite happy about. But anyway, so let's see, it's June 6, 1944, and well... We're going to blow up some bridges with airborne units. Uh, currently in this, I'm just testing out characters and controls. I took the tutorial for a few minutes to see how it works. And that's about it. So we're just gathering up some paratroopers here. We need six groups. I'm, I, you know, for the moment, I might just, you know, put them in a big group for now and then separate them later on. So we'll see what comes to mind. So divide and conquer kind of tactic there. But anyway, so... Let's have a look, shall we? Let's find more of these paratroopers. I'm actually really excited about this game. Like, you know, I love my World War II history, as you know, on the channel and stuff like that, from the War Thunder series and whatnot in the World of Tanks. So it's always nice to play the infantry role and the armored role as well. So it's going to be interesting indeed. Hmm. All right, gents, let's find some more of you. Some of you guys are following me already. Do you, like, do I have to attach you manually? No, I don't think so. No, let's just check. No. No. Alright, let's just find some more paratroopers then. We have to engage the enemy as soon as possible because, you know, we're fighting against the, you know, we're fighting against the Nazis, so it's kind of fun. Alright, let's go, go, go. Check the parachute sites. Come on, guys, where are you hiding? Uh, right, let's see. We have one more group to go. That's not really a group, that's one guy on his own, but okay. More the merrier, I guess, so we can actually combine all of our troops together now. Um... Let's see. Alright, yes sir. We're gonna to destroy bridges. Awesome. Uh, I was kind of like, uh, with this, regarding this, I know a lot of uh, American airborne troops, you know, landed behind the lines as well, but I was kind of hoping to see the British ones, I guess, because they had Pegasus Bridge, I believe it's called. Yes, they had Pegasus Bridge with the gliders. That was awesome to see. I think my favorite film about that was probably The Longest Day. And that, that film's brilliant, by the way. If you have never seen The Longest Day, you need to watch it. It's a fantastic World War II movie. Anyway, let's get these troopers moving. I'm very, very cautious about this. I kind of want to keep them in the the grass, because you do get a cover bonus when you're in the grass. And Plus, I'll lay them down if I need to, but I'm just going to arrange them in a certain way right now. So, let's see. Where are you, Jerry? Where are you hiding? Hmm. Uh, no, no, oh, there's Jerry. There's Jerry. I thought I saw Jerry for a moment, and I was right. We have two German, three German soldiers coming up on us now. That's a lot of fire coming their way. Hmm. Place TNT. Come on. Come on. All right, we may have to go onto the bridge and place TNT. You know, for like just the starting episode, I will probably do this more tactically, but I'm just trying to get used to the control. So individually selecting units to be certain uh well to be certain you know units in general like little platoons and whatnot so having medics is fantastic as well you need by the way a uh, medic option in this is absolutely amazing it's fantastic so if your troopers get hurt you have the chance to you know get them up back into the fight and then basically that's that and also i think ammunition and fuel take a part a lot in this because you actually get resupply trucks and repair trucks that will repair your tanks and refuel them, which is good. Oh god, there's a tank on the other side of the bridge. We got lucky right there. Alright, let's go. Anyway, let's continue down to the next bridge. Hopefully not too many casualties this time around. But, well, we got no casualties. There's like three guys, so we got lucky. Oh, you could change the camera angle. By the way, if you're wondering how to do that, you just hold down R1 and move with directional uh, thumbstick. So, there you go. That's how you do that. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm missing the days of like manuals, game manuals. Basically, you buy a game on disc and you you know you get the manual for it. I miss that. All right, let's get these guys down. Come on. There's only two of them, lads. So we have a lot of submachine guns. I noticed a lot of Thompson users and a lot of M1 Grands. So 
Anyway, let's let's get going. All right, I'm liking this so far. Like it's reminding me, but when I play Company of Heroes or something like that, but just more. I, I don't know. Like when it comes to Company of Heroes, I love that game. It's fantastic, and uh, but it feels a bit cartoony. But this is kind of cartoony as well. But it has the seriousness as well, like manually placing. You can do all this during the story campaign of um, Company of Heroes as well. But you know, I just uh, you know, for a console-based RTS, I'm kind of glad there's a World War Two one. There are decent ones, like there's the, um, oh, what's it called? It was a really good one. It's based during the Japanese Edo period. Um, the two of them, there's Romance of Three Kingdoms, and then there's Ona, the, the world, uh, no, Spear of the World or something like that, Onabuga. I can't pronounce that name for the life of me. Apologies about that. I'm not great with Japanese names. Uh, but, yeah, there are two good RTSs as well you can get your hands on. And a lot of build city games, I uh, know, yeah. Oh, I was I noticed him on his own, so I'd rather have the full group here instead of just, you know, hanging about there. The fa the fun thing about this game is it's multiplayer, so I can't actually I wonder if the lads from the task force would like to enjoy the play this, which would be a lot of fun. So yeah. So alright. We've taken out the bridges. As far as my history goes back, you will have to take out artillery guns. I believe the So if it was the artillery guns, it's the hundred and first doing this or well there's multiple artillery guns on normandy beaches but easy company 101st took out the first few i believe i'm not too sure apologies about that i have to really brush up on my history again before i start stating fact from fiction but i will anyway i know my little bits i know my i know a lot but you know i just trying to get uh, into one sense of mine all right there we go good job soldier good job trooper you're over here with us now and let's continue on shall we with the occupy the town Hmm. I don't feel like I have enough troops. Oh, never mind. We have a crap ton more troops over here now. Let's go get them. Uh, they're hiding in a field, which helps. Hmm. I'm kind of wondering what kind of infantry we're going to have. I don't know which uh, beach we're on, actually. Which beach are we on? God, uh, it, it probably said at the start, I feel like, you know, Operation Overlord Normandy 1944. I think that's what it said on the start, but... We have airborne units. It's in taking out artillery guns. That's why I'm. This is what I'm predicting. We're going to be taking down artillery. Uh, so I'm thinking this is the hundred first airborne or whatever. I mean, well, I can't be definitive on that. Uh, this game's not completely histori historically accurate, but you know it's pretty damn close and it's pretty good actually. Which I have some. I've accidentally selected separate units by accident. That's a bit finicky there. So apologies about that. And, all right, let's get them into one generalized unit. Let's delete these and get them into one unit. All right, we have a nice blob to bring with us. So, <laughs> hopefully this will go well. I don't feel comfortable just doing one giant blob because, like, you know, the death factor in this game actually matters. Oh, I don't like that. Like, the approach to town. Uh, no, I don't think I'll do that. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Mm, just checking. Around me, uh, nah, no. Nah. Let's see. Oh, there's more airborne troopers over. Or maybe I can go around the buildings. Maybe. Oh no, I can't select them manually. All right, we have to get to them to select them. Some extra rifles wouldn't hurt. Hmm. Could go to the back gardens, or go around here. Yeah, we'll go around here. Seems easy enough. Less chance of getting, uh, you know, shot at behind the houses. Alright, let's see, let's move these guys up. Alright, let's see, more, oh, that's where we spawned originally, so I'm going to be coming out of there. Oh shit, oh, oh god, no, no, two of them ran around the wrong side. Alright, engage, engage. Open fire, take down Jerry. Oh god, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, two men down, we need to get medics on them. Alright, we're going to push the street. No, we're not, there's, oh, there's two of them, Jesus. A tree of them now? Oh, they're rushing at us now, which is great. Um, why am I pressing load for? Sorry, I was supposed to go for medic for some reason because those two guys are down and I want them back in the fight instead of being, you know, killed. There we go. Come on. First aid. One guy back in the fight. That's helpful. You can hear up and running. I just want to, like, see if I can heal you fully because I don't feel comfortable. Nope, he's down again. Alright. 
he literally got up but he's back down again as far as i know if the enemy keep shooting onto your wounded they'll be able to kill them permanently which would be not good for us oh we've run into a bit of a rifle battalion here it's, uh, no rifle platoon not battalion battalion's much oh now we have some flankers coming our way i think one of them is a white helmet so i think that might be a medic all right we'll take out a german medic then take out the krauts all right come on come on fire all right good good our medic is now treating the wounded which is handy as hell all right so we're gonna meet up with the separated airborne group i think who wouldn't uh, that was a bit you know a bit pricey with that only two casualties but they're only wounded thankfully thankfully enough anyway do i have to regain all these troops here yeah i do okay they ran into the buildings but well, at least they are uh, correct instantaneously so we have to look for find any if i find and silence the artillery battery i knew it i knew it yeah so this is probably we are probably a mix between 101st 501st and all that kind of stuff because during normandy all of the paratrooper divisions were basically mixed up like the they're at the wrong drop zones everything like that so could be interesting let's see i'm not saying for definite that we're the 101st but i believe it was the 101st that knocked out artillery uh, positions that were bombing was it utah beach or was it omaha i think it was uh, i'm not too sure i can't remember i have to look up on that again it's been a long time all right let's put you out here for a moment i feel like we should separate you i want kind of different fire teams here you'll be fire team let's see you're gonna be fire team hmm. there's two mixed units already all right you're fire team two fire team three there we go all right makes sense Ooh, are you done? let's separate you guys uh there's somewhat equal numbers to each of them anyway so that should be fine we're gonna have you guys flank over here let's find this artillery before they shell the crap out of all our guys coming up on the beach which would not be fun not fun at all right let's see let's get you going i don't like the fact that you're running through the field so i, I kind of want to take this a bit slow because you know keep the casualties down is quite helpful for any airborne unit or any infantry unit in general without the support of tanks or you know heavy vehicles at least that reminds me so thinking about it now we probably be getting our hands on so no we're, unless this is a complete airborne campaign then i'm not too sure hmm, let's go uh actually the interesting part about this is if you can pick uh your doctrine at the start so what you main main and basically uh so i chose infantry doctrine which has a picture of montgomery which he's very you know it's montgomery when he has two cap badges on his beret i, I can't remember why he had two cap badges on his beret and then the other one's Patton, and then uh bradley general bradley uh omar bradley i believe his name is that's right he's this support and logistics kind of view from it so like artillery and then ammo and blah 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 and then you have the infantry doctrine which you know fast-paced infantry will probably light vehicles because i haven't gotten too far into the campaign just yet so i'm hoping to see how this goes so all right let's send let's send you down this way you're on the street so you'll be fine let's see if we have any artillery over here let's get over here all right see they're not too spread out now so at least one group can run to the position we need to get to oh an mg42 hmm do we want to take it actually fun fact i think um the mg42 was actually a really good light infantry weapon like a uh, light machine gun because uh or was a heavy machine gun i forgot i forgot my classification i'm sorry um but anyway the mg42 um i believe there was only five mg42s on normandy because they were that powerful and they sent so many rounds that quickly down onto the beach they only needed five to defend it but yeah i think they would the, how the world turned out i think they might have needed a bit more than just five <laughs> but happily enough that didn't happen uh but yeah anyway let's see can i heal these guys sorry i'm doing things and talking about world war ii history at the same time i want to get you out of the the gun nest if you don't mind no okay tell you what we'll be down one man for team which team is this this is team two so one man down for team two so let's go to the next position which i feel like it's this one 
All right. Hopefully it's this one because I would have set the I would have tinned them out more to go to all spots at once. But you need. You need okay. Your right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We're coming let's up with this position here. Now. I'll move you to Three, troops. Two, yeah, just in case. One and let's two see. over here, I think. Let's move them in, shall we? Okay. Uh, yeah, they're there. Um. Oh wait, I see artillery. Um, basically artillery firing. So we're actually at the position we are. Have our guys crouching down. Uh, let me rephrase that. Have them on prone, so we actually have access to that. We could steal those armored personnel carriers because I do know they come with MG42 on the front, which could be helpful. Let's see. We have some on guard. We're engaging straight away. Take the guards out. I have team two still crowd. Oh yeah, some of them are still on the field, so have them have these guys come over here. All right, guys, go on. go go go. All right, what's the, let's see, the other team's still crouching. I want them here, and I want them to stand up. Okay, let's go. There's some artillery field guns. Um, don't think they are, oh yeah, they're 130, no, they're 173 Cronen cannon, basically. Cronen cannon. I can't pronounce that, I'm so sorry. Uh, but anyway, let's see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, we have two gun placements here. We have a unit here engaging, which is fine. Kind of want them to come around the flank. We have a nice crossfire going on right now, which is good. Could be better, I guess. Lay down in the cover. Harder to hit you then. Uh, let's push you guys up. They're distracted with the other guys, so let's engage. Okay. All right, we've taken out the artillery gun, so the beach is clear for the landing. Fantastic. Oh, I've unselected these now. Is to the end of the mission? Hmm. Let us... Oh, there we go. Oh, right. Oh, wow. It's the D-Day D -Day beach landing. Okay, that makes a lot of sense now. <laughs> All right, let's see. Hmm. Right, we have a lot of landing craft, half trucks, some Shermans, infantry. This is a good spread of uh, units. Let's see. Let's get these guys onto the beach. Some uh, bazooka guys going off. AT bazookas, probably. Uh, right, let's see. Hmm. I don't know what it is. When I play, like, a World War II era games, I really want to play Faces of War. I don't have Men of War Assault Squad, but I have Faces of War, which for some reason uses the... I believe they use the, um... <laughs> the cutscenes from a very particular game. There's a little scout car, German scout car. I actually forgot the name of it. It's not the Puma. No, that's like a longer, like, assault vehicle, I guess. I can't... <laughs> I'm terrible at naming them. Alright, these guys are going to go over here, get on the death laid. Come on, lads. Alright, let's get these guys moving up as well. Okay, we'll get these guys assault on the bunker. Get these infantry moving up. Take out the MG Ness, or is that a mortar Ness? I'm not too sure. Medic... <laughs> medic metal. Bronze. Nice. Lots of healing going on. Some stray infantry here. Let's get them over here. Uh, no, there's a bunker there. I'll have them join up with these guys. We have a Sherman on the ground. I don't know if that's a regular Sherman or like a Firefly. No, Fireflies came late war, didn't they? No, I can't remember. Fireflies are the, like, I can't remember what centimeter gun they had, but they were pretty big. Great for, you know, tank engagements. Hmm. Um, Let's see. I was actually taking a look at the campaign list. There's actually a lot of a lot of famous battles. I'm kind of curious to try out the Battle of Kursk. Which is quite good because it has both the Soviet and the German side of it. So it's going to be interesting. Actually, wait. These are our objectives? Okay. Let's see. We have to capture the radar center, destroy the HQ, and destroy the supply base. Okay. Makes sense. What do we have here? We have a Hellcat. Awesome. Alright. That's going to be helpful. Tank destroyer. Let's see, let's get these guys meeting up with each other. I kind of want to make this a its own tank battalion, I guess. Like its own infantry, mechanized infantry. No, it wouldn't be mechanized. I need a half track with it. Oh, we've taken out another gun. That's helpful. All right, let's see. A lot of engagements right now, but ma <laughs> managing the army is more important at the moment. I kind of want you guys to go here. Yeah, meet up with these guys here, and then we'll have these guys... Hmm. Kind of want them to reinforce someone else. Or, hmm. Let's see. Actually, you guys go over here. And, uh, yeah, and then over here. Then we get the half track. 
These are the troops over here. Alright, let's get you guys... Oh, no, 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 I'm putting you towards artillery fire. Let's not do that. We have some wounded on the ground, not good. And the medic will automatically heal them once I hit the button. Nope, German Kraut came running at us as brave charge at the allied forces, but no. Not today. <laughs> All right, let's get you in this pattern here. I want you guys to flank the art and the artillery gun. It's probably a pack gun, I think. Hmm. Let's have you lads moving as well. All right, what do we have here? Nothing on the radar just yet. Okay, I want to pause there for your mo I want to keep you guys there for the moment. And then move you in to engage the artillery gun. So it's a bit further up as I think about it, but let's just be careful because there's an artillery gun there. Doesn't mean they wouldn't put one on this road. Pack guns were terrifying, I can imagine, to most uh, tank drivers and infantry. So, well, to be honest, I can imagine the AE-8 being much worse. AE-8mm cannons firing at you. That'd be crazy. Oh, there it is, there it is. All right, we're going to come up behind you. Oh, there's two of them. All right, that makes sense. See, I was right about the second one. All right, let's take this one out first. That's destroyed. It's distracted with the infantry on the beach, thankfully. Oh, God, the, the troopers die throughout the heel. Oh, sorry. Uh, right, let's see. Wait. Oh, yeah, we're going to combine this force into one. Let's see. There we go. You guys are now your own infantry. Let's see. Let's push you up this road because you have anti-personnel. I guess. Uh, I don't see any tanks yet. That's the one thing I don't want to happen to us when we're on the beach. Oh, there's another Sherman. Okay, yeah, we're going to combine another unit. Some infantry and a Sherman tank, and some hopefully AT gunners as well. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hmm. These guys are moving around fine. They have rocket launchers as well, so if any tanks come their way, at least they can be able to, you know, fight them. Uh, right, let's have a tank battalion come over this way. Uh, let's see, we have a smaller group here, so there'll be a flanking squad in case any German infantry pop out, so I wanted to take out that base as quickly as possible. But they have support of a tank, so I have I have full faith in that unit. Alright, let's see, where are you guys running off to? You're, you're meeting up with a new battalion? Oh god! <laughs> I forgot about a unit. Oh no, he's the only survivor, that's unfortunate. Alright, let's get him over here, some new friends. Uh, you're gonna take a while running over there, so let's just meet you halfway, Fran. Alright, let's see. Let's go over here. Meet up with you. That's further enough. There we go. Let's get you guys over here. That's fine. Your nice infantry spread there and a light vehicle in the middle, a half track, 50 calibers on it. I think it's like a quad cannon, a quad um, 50 calibers. Oh, we have mortars. Alright, we're just gonna, you know, do a charge, do a pattern on this. Uh, all right, come on, let's move forward. All right, the mortar man is there. Let's get him, get him. Oh, God. <laughs> that's just, that's a bit overkill. All right, we've gotten the supply base, so they're going to be running out of ammo soon, which is good. All right, let's see. Oh, we have some engagements here and a tank. Shit. I need to get that Sherman over there to help them. All right, let's get this new unit up and running. There we go. We're going to make you a new unit. So we have three tanks and a mix of infantry. All right, let's get you over here as well. There is a... Oh, no, they got the tank. Nice job. I don't know if it was an actual track tank or it was like a scout car or something like that, but it was firing a cannon. Maybe it was a Puma, actually. Hmm. You never know. You never know. Uh, also, a good film to watch as well, based on Armored Warfare, is basically The Bridge Too Far. Shows a good mix of German and... Oh, we have airborne troops still. Good mix of German and Allied armor going against each other. The operation did fail, of course, but, you know, it wasn't a complete unsuccess. You know, it wasn't completely unsuccessful, but they had to go a different route to get into Germany after that. Let's see... Let's cut through here, and we have a pack gun. Okay, let's take that out. As, as, you, actually, as you saw, I was able to load up some infantry onto a MG42. You were actually able to capture 
uh, disabled vehicle. So if you track a tank and the crew hops out, you can kill the crew and take over the tank. So you have an extra tank on the field with you. So I can imagine a lot happening there. This battle's pretty much won. We're pushing through now and uh, pushing the infantry this way. There, yeah, we'll help go that way. The, infant the airborne units are currently fighting that tower. Uh, yeah, I think this is it. We pretty much won the battle. We've won. So yeah, uh, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to make, and this game is actually really fun. And there's a multiplayer mode as well, so you might see some of us at the task force playing it together. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time on RTC. See you guys.